Yo, yo, yo! Happy New Year, Happy 2020, Merry New Year, whatever you want to say. It's been a minute and a half. Um, me and my sister went to Thailand, if you didn't know, for the holidays. We went from the 27th till the... we arrived back on the 5th. Um, the voice you're hearing from this side is Brittany. Say hi. Um, so yeah, me and my sister went to visit our dad. Um, I almost said my dad. But yeah, just to give some feedback on how that was, it was amazing. Um, we did a lot of fun stuff. We went to an island there. We did some snorkeling. Um, it was it was amazing. It was my first time flying internationally. Not internationally, overseas. Um, I've flown to Cape Town, I think, when I was very little. Um, and that's about it. And then, obviously, this newest trip was the first time outside of Africa. So that was amazing. That was a really amazing experience. But, okay, like I said, we went to the island. Um, then from the island, we went back to Bangkok. We were there for New Year's. Um, we, well, my family checked the... Family. the my sister and my dad. Um, they checked the fireworks there. It was a massive party and whatever. I missed it. Because I didn't have any endurance and I was tired and it was hot and there was a lot of people so I went back to hotel. So I spent the new year, I went, I came into 2020 in a hotel room by myself. Yeah, because Brittany didn't want to come with me. I'm sorry that bullshit. So we went to a couple of malls um, and yeah that was basically it. It was hot, humid. Food was good, and it was just a good experience. So in other words, he enjoyed it without me. Yeah, pretty much. Are you okay? No, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> no, yes, I'm fine. Yep. It's okay. Don't. Don't hit me. Don't. <laughs> Do not. Baby, don't. Don't hit my yeah, things. Yeah, it's you. Stop. I'm going to box you, I swear. You already hit me. <laughs> I told you to leave me alone. You know what I want to do? Baby, I just, just hold talk hand. to me. Just no. hold my hand. No. Hold my hand. No. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to do Krav Maga. You know what that is? Yeah. Salma does it. Huh? Salma does it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Israeli self-defense type stuff. Like... <laughs> You want to do it? Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Mm. One of the videos I've seen. Whatever. Hi everyone, my name is Francois. I'm the True Prof instructor from Art Namibia. Welcome to our studio. Today we're just going to run through some stuff that we, we teach and just to show you and tell you what, what and who True Prof is. We are not as as true crop is, is a system by itself, uh, we do not believe that what we do is a sport, it's about reality. We teach people about what we're doing here, being armed on armed combat, being, uh, whether it being attacked by a knife, by a rifle, or by a gun, all of those things we will run through. What we do not do is, uh, is belt systems or levels or certificates. Everything we do in here is reality based. We run through uh, reality stuff that we do in situations that we put you in and work through um, through you within those situations and then we run through with that. With the members coming in, it can be anything from, we do as well anti-rape workshops, uh, specific home invasions, specific um, anti-hijackings and all of those situations that you could find yourself in. In today's life a lot of things happen and usually we think we can handle a situation or we get some training or we, we think we know how to handle a situation properly but it gets difficult in certain, certain times that you get people have weapons, people walk with knives, situations change. And you can be the best fighter in the room. I mean, you can be an MMA fighter, you can be a kickboxer, but the moment weapons get into the picture, it differs. It, it, it becomes a totally different situation. So to really know how to handle yourself, it's not just about fighting back. It's about controlling the entire situation, making sure that the situation is safe for you, your family, and whatever the situation would require you to do in that moment. That's where you need to step in or either step back and say, listen, you just take everything, let me go, let my family stay safe. But if you need to step in, if your life is in a threatening situation, 
then you would go in, you would attack, you would do what is necessary in that situation. So again, being attacked, there is different variations of situations where you can get yourself into, grabs on the neck, grabs in front of the chest, behind the neck, there's a lot of different situations you can get into. What we're going to work with today, starting off, is not a straight arm attack, but a cross arm attack. This could be anything from someone shoving you up against the wall or just holding you like this, right? So I mean, someone will just run through it anyway with that, okay? We can stop. Huh? I'm talking to you. We can stop. Take it out. Take it out. What is the call? Take it out. Take it out. I say take it out. Leave it. Leave it. Stay down. Stay down. So again, you step into the situation. Being in held up here, so, uh, arm turning maybe against the throat or just being held here. Okay, holding it here, you can't just grab or gouge or work in the eyes or something like that. What would happen, you would provoke that attack, you would make you angry, and from there it's easy for this guy to throw a punch or do whatever is necessary there. So what someone is doing in the beginning, but we are teaching everyone in, in what our system teaches, is to submit and observe. So the moment I grab her, she submits and observes, okay? She lets me feel in control by submitting, protecting her face and hearing what's going on here. As this guy got other weapons, if anything else is taken out, what's going on? From there, right, if she assessed the situation, so she will step in, lock it on, do some damage, get to the groin, and from there, take it down. So lock it on, in the break the arm, and control the guy on the ground, not, not just throwing him to the ground. Okay. Okay, this is the one. Okay, go, sit. Okay, so sit, hit. One, two, three, up, straight up, and then the head press down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. And control it. Okay. Nice. Try and keep the arm up, upright and bend the elbow towards you up. Right. Pull the elbow up. Not too much. Just pull it up. Yes, arm open up. Okay, so now. Okay. Attack, where's your stuff? Attack, off. attack, attack. Where's your stuff? Where's your stuff? Hit. Move, move, move. Okay, lock it in. Okay. Okay. When you go in, try and get lower with your boots. Okay. We just stop. Come on, stop. Go. Hit, 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 hit. Up, up, up. Move, move, lock, 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 lock. Okay. Nice. We just stop. Huh? We just stop. Take it out. Take it out. So what happens, we've got a distance attack here with a knife, okay? If you do anything from where the guy standing there, he stab you, stab you from the side, holding it like this, holding it there, right? Walking at you, you don't see what he has in his hand, that's why you submit and observe. Assess the situation, what's going on, where's he got a knife or what, what's going on here. If it's like that, right? He'll step in like that or stab you. What are you going to do today? There's an ice pick stab from the top, right? So again, someone will submit and observe. You don't want to provoke the attack, right? From there, if I stick into stab, she will dive in, lock in properly, kicks, damage, proper damage, and then hit, take the guy down, lean on the head, lock the arm, release the knife, stab, get away. And the get away with the weapon is necessary. Get to safety, keep the weapon, stay there. Stomach, 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 control, control, nice. Hit, hit, hit. Okay. Release it out, stab, stab. Get up, get up, get up, get away. Okay, so we can get away is like a shot of the big guy. Shot for second, keep the knife, and then you keep it like this, or up. Up, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Always pointed, always pointed. Where's your stuff? Where's your stuff? Huh? Huh? Take it. Okay. 
Are you okay? No. I cannot even deal with this shit right now. Dude, like ever since he's, you guys came back from Thailand, me. He's been so distant. He's not spending time with me. I really think he's seeing someone else. Brittany, is she fucking dumb? Yeah. Do you get to see what now happened? You saw what happened. This practice. Yeah. Brittany, I will propose. Pro. We could then keep on your little swag up too. I guess not interested in. Me, yes, I not if you like treating me like that. I'm not interested. Uh... What do you mean? What the Why are you storming out the clothes? Why the f do you have to be so unworthy? I'm not being unworthy. You are. You are. You are being unworthy. I'm not being unworthy. You're the one hurting me. Yeah, yeah because you're frustrating me. How? You are frustrating me so much. What the f You know what? I'm not going to solve with you. you. I know what you're going to do. So take that ring and stuff it up your boss because I'm not interested. Are you here for a second? 